Always great to introduce something new from Rode and to wave the Australian flag because Rode microphones are entirely made in Australia at a place called Silverwater in New South Wales, just a little outside of Sydney for those people who like to uh, fix the geographic location. Now it's time to introduce you to the new Procaster. This is a broadcast microphone that can be used in main studios, can be used in home studios, production studios, and the main thing is it's a dynamic microphone and you find that there's very little interference. And being a dynamic, you're not running around looking for phantom power, you're not running around looking for batteries. You know, it's a plug-in and go microphone. What I like most about it is the quality of the microphone. When you pick it up, so many mics that you do pick up, they feel like a little plastic toy. This is definitely not a toy. When you do get hold of one of these microphones, just try it. You pick up some other microphone, you say, goodness me, there we are. I've got the toy in my right hand, but I've got a real microphone in my left hand. In my business, sound is the most important part of my business. Now, the Procaster, in tests that we've done up against the valve microphones, have really blown us away. We couldn't believe it. We said, is that as good as that microphone? Like, that microphone's about three or $4,000. But it really has stood the test. And that's the, the best thing about the Rode microphone. It's quality. It's built in. And here it is, the big backing. These guys really do back their product. A 10-year warranty. Now, you can't even get that on a Ferrari. But when you're looking for a microphone, remember this, that you need a real mic. I want you to go and test the Procaster. It sounds great. It's quality. It's made by one of the best microphone manufacturers in the world, Rode from Australia, and you get a 10-year guarantee. What more can you ask? All you can ask now is, how do you use it? Now, you may notice that I'm not using a pop shield, whether it be a piece of hosiery or whether it be some piece of foam that fits over the microphone, because I found it's very, very important to learn the real technique about using your microphone. Now, that's one of the reasons why you have headphones. You don't have the headphones to listen to your mellifluous tones, don't I sound beautiful, isn't my voice glorious, and all that type of thing. What you're looking for is microphone position, and that's what I do all the time. Headphones on, look at the mic, that's the instrument I'm using. Now, how is this microphone going to react to my voice? I read the script and I certainly put on some pressure. Now, another test I use is what I call the blow test. It's simple. Just blowing air from your mouth onto your hand, just like this. Now, when I feel the air diminish on my hand, it's usually the best position for the microphone. So I'll be looking at this, I'll be going, about here. That feels good. Then I've got another one where I just use uh, Peter Piper picked a pickle pepper, put it in his pocket and pulled it out because he was a procrastinator. So I look for peas and I look for another, another test is fut, 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 fut. And if I find that the microphone is not pumping or as some people say popping, then I'm happy with the microphone position. And that's very, very important. So use your headphones, get that microphone position, check the script out. There's always different parts of a script that have got more, really, some more energy, some more impedience, where all of a sudden you've got to go, and tonight we'll find blah, 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 you know, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you've really got to put some pressure into the microphone. The other technique I use is cutting across the microphone. And that is when you want to get in closer to the microphone, instead of going right down the barrel, just come across a little bit. And again, feel where the air is coming out of your mouth. So as the air, when you go to a close mic technique, is not going straight into the diaphragm or into the microphone. Just take your head off just a little bit to the side and try that. Again, using your microphone, again, getting the microphone position. So microphone position, good mic, good sound, go for it.